Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Donna Page and this video is about the full moon lunar eclipse in Leo on February 10th, 2017. It's a very powerful full moon. All eclipses have more pizzazz to them, more punch to them. And this one is creating the grand fire trine. We have a lot of fire energy in 2017 with the Uranus-Saturn uh, trine. And what that means is that everything is moving very, very quickly. And you may find yourself in a little bit of a whirlwind. What do I do next? I need to get this done. I need to get this done. And, and running to catch up type of a mode. Now, if you recall the new moon that I spoke about in Aquarius, where the new moon was right in the middle or at the midpoint between Saturn and Venus and what that meant about finding that inner and outer contentment and fulfillment with being able to create what you love, what you want, and having the space and having the friendships that you want in your life. Well, this energy is like, how well have I done this? And who is coming with me? There's a lot about who is coming with me in this journey on my path. There are several years that are being activated, whether you were born in those years or whether you a significant event happened for you in those years. They are 1993, 1982, 1960, 61 straddles for a different reason and back to 1953. So if you were born in any of those years or if you know somebody who was, you can you might get some information from them. You might have a conversation with them where they're saying, wow, things are really spinning in my life. Things are really going on. Uh, this opening for the new, this full moon eclipse in Leo is about following your heart, listening to your heart. This is a precursor of a major shift in energy that is happening in May when the north node of the moon goes into Leo. There is a significant message from the universe that says, hey, remember to follow your heart. What is your path? What brings you joy? What brings you love? What, what, where can you shine in your own personal life? Where do you feel is your, where light shines on you? And it is also about being able to enjoy the little things in life, the special things in life, and making each day special. Every time the moon shifts into Leo, we will get this push again. It's like this little voice in our ear. Hey, what can I do today to make life special? What can I do to be generous? What can I do to give of myself, open my heart, accept people? The shadow side of this energy that can come up is where you may see different places in your life or different reasons why you may feel that you have done things that have not been in your highest interest for approval or for recognition, where the ultimate approval and recognition, of course, comes from within, and this is about following your heart and following your path. Have a glorious woman and of course it is uh, it's friendship it's love it's romance it's all those good things too right it's it's really strong about that and I would re be remiss to not mention the fact that Eris the goddess of discord is being highlighted this month and therefore the emotions of the full moon can come out about wherever you may have felt disenfranchised or left out in life, that can your your heart, it could come up and your heart could feel that. And yet it's still about being able to find, because we are in the Aquarian cycle. Aquarius brings up where we feel. It's like, gosh, do I really belong on this planet? Let alone been born it, you know, living where I'm living, it brings up wherever we feel disconnected, wherever we feel we don't belong. Yet, it's about awareness, so we can find, so we can connect where, where we feel we do belong, 
and who we want to belong with and that it's okay. It's okay if we don't fit in everywhere. We don't belong everywhere. Just be yourself. Let your light shine within. Have a glorious full moon time and thank you for subscribing, sharing, and liking.